and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a Christmas inspired soap but I think you can use it all year round uh, and for the fragrance I'm going to be using Three Wise Men from Nurture Soap and boy this smells really nice um, and one of the things I'm going to be doing I found these um, I think they're supposed to be Thanksgiving colors. They're just sugar pearl sprinkles at my local Walmart, but they're beautiful. And um, this little sparkly kind of um, burgundy red I like, and these little guys I like. So I'm gonna use some of these on top. And the thing I like about sugar pearls is they just either pop off really quick, but they dissolve in water. Um, Sugar is really good for your skin too, so I don't mind putting those on top of my soap bars. I think they're really great. And I'm going to do some layers of blue. What I have today is this Ultra Blue Pigment from Brambleberry, Ultramarine. Um, and that looks sort of purple, but it's really blue. And then I have, I have never used this before, from Workshop Heritage. It's called Bright Blue Mica. And it looks really dark so I'm excited to try and do this I want to do some layers with some gold mica lines in between and I'm gonna use shimmer gold mica from nurture soap uh, some mica lines and then a swirly in the middle and a layer on top and then do my sugar pearls on top I'm sort of formulating the look of it in my mind as I'm going here uh, and I'm going to use some coconut milk powder in the liquid portion just to uh, give give some richness to the bars and so I just want these to be really fun and beautiful my three wise men Christmas inspired soap also if you enjoy watching my videos please consider hitting the like button and subscribe and I'm also on Instagram and Facebook uh, if you want more up-to-date soaping inspiration and what I'm doing in the studio uh, check that out too so let's get to making soap and I'm ready to add my lye solution here. It's all cooled off and I've got my Tussa Silk fibers and some sodium lactate in my distilled water lye solution. And in here I have organic colloidal oats, kaolin clay, coconut milk powder, and my fragrance. And this is my um, hard oils and butters and my liquid oils are all in here, melted down, ready to go. So I'm going to hand stir this in and then I will stick blend the each color hopefully so I have some uh, time to work with this and do my layers and all that good stuff. So get that in and we'll just hand stir this to emulsification and then I'm going to split off my bottom layer color. I'm going to do a blue on the bottom kind of texture the top and do a gold mica line. That is the, that's the plan. We shall see how this goes. It's looking pretty well and emulsified here. So, pour off my first color blue. And I'm not going to use all this, I'm going to save some for um, my top swirly bit. And to this, I'm going to add this is the ultramarine blue that I just have dispersed in a little um, sunflower oil here. I'm going to do that to kind of liquefy it. It got real thick. And it's a very vibrant, beautiful blue. All right. Okay. Let's get this blended in. Very pretty blue. Now, because I need to have the bottom layer thicker, I'm going to pour a little off and stick blend it and get it nice and thick for the bottom, and then um, I'll save the rest for the top. That's how we're going to handle this. 
Now I got my stick blender over here. And this is going to be my little bottom layer. Alrighty. This is a nice thick trace. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in my base here and uh, let it firm up enough to texture it as I get the next layer swirly uh, for the top. Jiggle that out, it nice and even. Let that set up for just a minute. And while that is sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and blend up my next color blue here for my swirly top, which is that Workshop Heritage Bright Blue. Which, boy, I'm surprised it really is a bright blue. It looked so dark in the jar. Um, and uh, it's looking great. I'm hoping that this color will be different enough from that color. Hmm, this is a much grayer looking. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more powder in here. It's just, there we go. I think that it's supposed to be a nice bright blue. I think that's different enough. All right, let me see. I'm going to take this over here and knock that down. Yeah, I think that's different enough of a blue. And got a good trace coming on, so let me scoop this off to the side and come back in here and I'm just going to take a spoon and do little dollops in here for texture and then we'll do our gold mica line. There we go. So, I've got my uncolored portion here that I'm going to go ahead and drop swirl into for my next layer. So here's the Workshop Heritage Blue. These are close, but not the same, and I'm hoping that when I get done, you'll be able to tell the difference between the two colors. I'm going to save a little for the top. Top. I'm going to go once around and that's it. And go ahead and start pouring this. 